Boom, you'll see that's my fucking. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, but sir. Basically, the way it's set up, um, the first half, I'm talking about just regular hip hop news or whatever. Mm-hmm. You, you know, you chime in, go back and forth about it. And then the second half, I talk about, um, then we do the interview part. Uh, I'm going to try to get, go quick with the, uh, the first half. Mm-hmm. Um, these are do it for like 30 minutes, but I may shorten it because being you and who you are, it's probably gonna be probably have a lot to say. Yeah. Uh, I think when I interviewed Nuke, you know what I'm saying? I think it was like an hour and a half. For real? Yeah. So I don't wanna hold you too too long. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I try to just shorten all of that. Yeah. Whatever we need to do. I mean it's all a promo I need. It. Yo, you know what's good mean? people? Y'all see I got my man Civilian Drake in the building. You know what I mean? That? Yo, y'all make sure to check us out. We're going to be on YouTube live and shoot about five minutes. You know what I mean? So, matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and put this link mm. in the chat so y'all can see it. What up, Mario? What's happening? I saw your pop the other day, dog. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, at the, uh, the field. field. Yeah, yeah, he's still out there, bro. That's my bro. He just still look the same, too, bro. The <laughs> dude. Right. He still look the same. Again, yo, y- y'all check that link. We're going to be on YouTube, you know what I'm saying, going live. So y'all make sure y'all stay stay tuned. Check that out. Right now, we're just doing, getting everything set up. Uh, yeah, I was like, oh, I went out there. I went out there. Sometimes last week, you know, I coach part one now. Okay. So I was out there. I was out there with him for I think fourteen years. No, no, thirteen. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I've been doing part one for the past my second season. So yeah, I'm trying to step it up a bit. You like it better? Yeah. I mean, it's it's crazy. It's way crazy. Like we had to go to oh, we went to uh, Crestview. Yeah. Uh, this past Saturday or whatever. Yeah. And it was just like crazy. It was like dumb hot. But just the fact that, you know, just being able to travel mm-hmm. is just something new. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. can appreciate that. Because they do a lot of traveling. Yeah. Yeah. I know my son, he playing, you know what I'm saying, um, freshman for Rickards. You know what I mean? But um, say trying to work on getting up there to JV. Yeah. Yeah. We got to the holiday, man. They ain't seen man since, shoot, five, almost since he played with me. That's the one mm-hmm. played for me, right? Mm-hmm. Tuka? Yeah. God, he a freshman? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, bro. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> what up, Bravo? Yo, I got to uh give you a plug tonight, bro. Bravo, what's happening? I see. You know what I mean? You already know. Of course, it's just a preview. We're going to be over to YouTube. My shirt looking Hi, Jack. Oh, you see me trying to get their shit together. Fatniggas.net told hey, y'all. I'm telling you. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Man, I probably had the same shit from yesterday. <laughs> Straight up. Melo on the beat. Frank Melo, what's happening? Yes. Let me go and start this. That's something I got to speed up on. I'm just trying to be doing stuff like this and won't even be getting no footage for myself or nothing. Right. Like, damn, I want to record that. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's the stuff we need to record right there. Right. Mm-hmm. Nah, it's my little thing. I do this stuff on the internet. Uh, stay up. I went ahead and upgraded, so I should do it, but. I was doing uh Jenga uh last last week. Yeah. We got to the very end. Right when stuff was getting like like mad hype. Yeah. Granted it was, it was like the end of the interview. <laughs> yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Stuff was getting hype and it just cut off. I was like, man, what the fuck? It was like a good yeah, sir. two minutes.
What up, Wes? Yo, everybody, y'all popping up, man. Check the link. You know what I'm saying? The live or whatever. We're going live on Facebook. I mean, on Facebook. We're going live on YouTube in just a minute. Tell us, bro, nigga, we need shit like this, bro. Right, I'm glad nigga stand up to the plate. Prayer. Man, we need this shit, bro. Okay. Welcome. This service is provided by freeconferencecall.com. There is one host in this conference. <laughs> All right, now we're going to get stuff off. Y'all hold tight. Hey, All right. You too, man. Enough police is out there, bitch, to pull every car, and they was doing it. No, I can believe it. All right, so I got time to shut up. Man. Hey, baby. All right, we can live. All right, boom. You two, we here. We get it popping on right now. Um, got a lot of new things going on, so y'all just stay patient with your boy, but we got it on and cracking. So. All right, boom. This is the Enigma Sep Hours Boy, Enigma September, finally. And I have uh, probably one of the most popular MCs, definitely probably the most catchiest catchphrase in Tallahassee hip hop history, right here with me. None other than my homeboy, Severity Young Drac, in the building. What's going on, bro? Glad you could be here. Glad to be here, dog, for real. You know, I go mean, way back with you. Way, way back. Y'all don't even, trust me, y'all don't even know. Y'all mm -hmm. don't even know. Everybody ball and play football. You know, you know what I'm saying? You already know what time it is. You, you don't know E, you know what I'm saying? From coaching and pop, doing the same thing, but holding it down for years. You know what I'm saying? Respo right. Responsible for a lot of championships. You feel me? <laughs> yo, you know? look, yo, look. Man, mm -hmm. hey, man, Yeah, yeah. We was killing it. We was, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds like my pops. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. All right, that's that. Cancel. Okay. Anyway, we're going to get more to that. Um, yeah, who's out there playing flag football? No, oh, that's almost, you know, it's almost like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We didn't even get away our age just yet. But just know <laughs> it was a while ago. Anyway. Yo, this is the Enigma Self Hours, boy, Enigma September, and you're now listening to episode 58 of the Enigma Self Podcast. The podcast is powered by Freedom Train Radio. Freedom Train Radio is sponsored by Pax Inc. So big up to my man, Pat Irvine, mm -hmm. Joe Ward, holding it down. 
you want more information about the organization Pax Inc., you can uh, look it up at paxinc.org. To my podcast listeners, yo, you can find a live stream of the Enigma Self Hour on YouTube at youtube.com backslash Enigma Self 927. And while you're at it, check out and subscribe to my big bro. I'm a big bro because I'm old now. My bro, Big Low, you know what I'm saying? Check out his YouTube page at youtube.com backslash Big Low Hip Hop. My man, son, got a thousand subscribers. Yo, so congratulations to that man. That's what's up. Now, I know y'all been tripping like, yo, E, you plugging him. How the world he got to a thousand and you ain't even close to that? Well, my man's been on YouTube for a minute and he's a touring MC and he like got videos and all kind of other stuff over there. So I just get a, my little teardrop. Little, mm-hmm. little, little drop in the in the pot mm-hmm. just to help my man out. You know what I'm saying? Team Libra in the building. So, yo, y'all check out your coffee vlog though. Uh, you talk about homelessness and also they having some kind of festival out there for homeless people out there in Pensacola. So, y'all going to check that out now. To my YouTube viewers, uh, remember to hit that like button, drop a comment, share, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. I want to get to a thousand subscribers. All right. Hey, how, why not, right? <laughs> so, no. hey, help a boy out. Hit that subscribe button and let people know about the show. If you enjoy it, you know, tell them where you can find me at. You make myself 927 on YouTube. Simple sure, as that. Sure. Also, too, you can check out uh, the past 57 oh, episodes man. of the Nick Myself Hour at uh, Nick Myself uh, Hour at www.freedomtrainradio.com as well as on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher. Spotify and anywhere you can find podcasts, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button when you find it. Um, it's pop up every Monday, so shout out to Pat for making sure that happens. But you search the Enigma Self Hour or Freedom Train presents the Enigma Self Hour, and boom, there you go. So you got the podcast on Monday, Fridays you got the live show, and here we are. Also, two MCs. Artists, you want to get uh, your song played on the Enigma Self Hour, or you want to uh, put a drop on the Enigma Self Hour, hit me up at enigmaself at gmail.com. Um, state your name, who you are. You can say, listen to the Enigma Self Hour, or just shoot me the MP3. Shoot me the MP3, make sure you got your, your name, the title, and it doesn't have to be clean. Now, if you want me to try to get it on WVFS, Whenever JC let me DJ, you may want to give me a clean version. But you can give me a dirty version because it's not regulated by the FCC with the podcast. So we can go from there. So y'all make sure to do that. And there we go. So um, we got a lot to cover. So I'm going to try to do this quick, fast, and in a hurry. Uh, also, too, you may see us going back and forth because YouTube, I got Facebook going on on a whole other laptop. Right. Plus, we got the YouTube popping. So you may want to well, look at my little Instagram. Right? <laughs> also, my man Severe got the Instagram, so boom, we multi, right. multi, we multi over here. Chops out the big creek. So we're going to uh, go ahead and get into this first track. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and get this so I can order up my sound for the dude. We're going to get into this first track, then we're going to come back and give y'all a little bit of this hip hop news. Um, yeah, we're going to wrap, wrap it for you because uh, my man Severe, I'm pretty sure he got a lot to talk about. He has a long story career and we got a lot to go through. So <clears throat> first things first, speaking of my man Big Low, he got a new album popping uh, in regard. He got a new album popping uh, called Space Boy, but um, going to the year anniversary when he dropped a video for The Saint on his last project. So I'm gonna play that. So this is Big Low, the Saint on the Enigma Self Hour. You got time, baby. Let's see. All right, boom. So that's playing. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna take a little pause or whatever. Um, and then once that playback, going to Yeah, I forgot to put my notes mm-hmm. on my computer, but it's all good because I got my notes here. Does your boy stay prepared? Who over here? Again, yo, y'all hit that link. You know what I'm saying? Hit us up on YouTube, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And uh, all you can say over here, just be nosy. Florida Joe is handy. 
What up, Playboy? Alicia Williams was happening. Ernest was happening, man. Yeah, Felicia, that's my girl. That's my baby. Yeah. Look, Fee. Look what we're doing. Look, I'm trying to press that like it's a touch. <laughs> I wish it was. Man. I wish it was. Let's see. Man. This YouTube scared me, though. Because usually, like, the mic right there yeah. will be flashing, but it's not. So. Did I hope? I'm trying to think. Y'all see who it is. Oh, I can't see nothing. See, we got souped up in here, man. So we got. Oh, we got about another minute or so. Yeah. Yeah, man. I tried to try to flip it up a little bit. Got to, I did that last week when um. Got jingles up TV. Yeah. So y'all see it. I got the uh Biggie yeah, Teddy well, yeah, Bear. Yeah, what's that? You know what I mean? 25th anniversary of Ready to Die. So I represent for Big. Also to RIP to Tupac. You know what I mean? That's dope, bro. Yeah. That's yeah. dope. Y'all gonna mm-hmm. Burlington for the low low. Oh yeah, of course. What we got? Y'all know how to shot. I shot anyway, dog. Yeah. I'm just putting it together, man. Passion, piece of, passion that thing together. Right. Mm-hmm. I was like, well, I was like, all right, I'm just going to go, you know what I'm saying, get something like, nah, my man Chris. Right. Let me really, let me really turn up. Right. I'm pretty sure this, bro, this halfway, what Nuke did, and I'm pretty sure, we'll, yeah, <laughs> this is going to be like one of my top episodes. <laughs> I wasn't expecting new joint to be like like the blow up like it did. Yeah. But yeah. I was like, oh it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about no nuke put it out there, boy. Yeah, we <laughs> too. I, I meant to get the drinks out, but I was trying to rush to trying to get everything together. See, you ain't got no drink here? I got I will. I next, next break. Yeah, yeah, next yeah, break. Next break. I'll we'll see what we got. Yeah. J Hop, what up? What that J Hop they said? Hello, what up? Bishop was happening. Steph, what up? Tommy was happening. Alright, we're gonna get back to it. Outlaw Beast, what's happening? You're we back. This is the Nick Myself Hour support Nick Myself Timber. Again, like I said, I'm here with my man Severe the Young Drac in the building south side, what it is, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So we're gonna go ahead, man, get into uh the happenings of the week. Uh first and foremost, shout out to my man on Bravo. You know what I'm saying? He coming with another uh Another battle, another rap battle here in Tallahassee, mm-hmm. uh, titled The Remorse. You know what I mean? That's going to be on October 11th. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shouts out to Raven October. You know what I'm saying? That's his, that's his B-Day. So, uh, if you want more details, you know what I'm saying? Hit on Bravo up. You know what I'm saying? You can find him on Twitter. Uh, what is it? I know he's on Instagram, Facebook, or whatever. Uh, it was S H Productions, yeah. Southern Hospitality League. So, y'all make sure... You know what I'm saying? Check that out. I'll give you more details closer as we get, but just put it out there. The remorse, no remorse, no, no remorse, no remorse, October 11th, and it's going to be at VHS Studios. It's not talk my head. So, uh, boom, there you go. Um, let's see, what else? Speaking of <laughs> VHS, we get into a little local tea. Mm-hmm. It's a little local tea. Um, I don't know what was going on, but apparently there was a little tiff. <laughs> between yeah. uh the beast, my man above the vision. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I announced last week that my boy uh never will stop deuce um got the video yeah. um walking zombie or uh, whatever tote video. Matter of fact, Scott Jenga, who was here, was in the video. Mm-hmm. That's why I, you know, came across it and talked about it. So the beast did a video out there the uh, riverfront or used to be the riverfront. Yeah. I guess it's uh the war the warrior on the riverfront, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um and apparently you know he put some pictures up. It kind of looked like it was a similar thing to walking zombie. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. all of a sudden I guess I guess my man bought a, a butter uh vision <laughs> felt the way he was like, oh <laughs> that y'all, way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all, y'all taking clips, y'all taking notes, what's good? <laughs> <laughs> so it was a little back and forth or whatever. I think it was pretty much you know playful banner. Or whatever. Right. But uh, yeah, if it's not, y'all niggas chill, all right? Relax. Yeah, yeah. But 
end of the day, it was kind of funny. Right. Um, so. Man, go with it. <laughs> <laughs> what a uh, DD. But yeah, I, I just, I was like, and not only I don't pay attention to it, I was like, I ain't gonna talk about that. Right. But I'm like, hey, I hey, mostly man. do, yeah. you know, tell her to hip hop. Yeah. So I was like, all right, let me mention this. And it gotta be, it gotta be mentioned too. Like, we gotta have some type of spotlight, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. We ain't even getting none, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, yeah, so. I appreciate I told Nick, man. I appreciate him, you know what I'm saying, for making this podcast happen, dog. You feel me? Like, yeah. but this is a gateway. Right. This is a gateway for real. I mean, if we use it, you know what I'm saying, the way it's supposed to be used and the way you putting the platform out there, dog. Yeah. You know, we make something happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I try to do what I can, bro. Like mm-hmm. I said, I, you know, we've been doing this for the long haul. You know what I'm saying? Seeing people, first seeing people come and go, but mm-hmm. also, too, just seeing that the support we need. Like you said, we, especially when we first was, you know what I'm saying, coming up. Mm-hmm. Like I said, you was way before I even jumped in, but it was just hard to kind of get that love or whatever. Mm-hmm. So it's like now, if I can do that, if I got a platform, I'm gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Rather if it's for you know veterans or especially you know what I'm saying new artists, mm-hmm. because like I said, I know how hard it is to try to come up and just have niggas kind of like blocking because they forget right. this. You know, like me, I ain't I ain't got shit. So right, hey, if I can help, I can help. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? If not, then. Like, well, find someone else. Yeah, I can right. do what I can. Uh, but yeah, shout out to the B. Shout out to the Butter, uh, Butter Vision, man. Y'all boys relax. You know what I'm saying? Peace it up. And uh, hell, make another, make a video. Shit. All right. <laughs> uh, what else we got? Well, I thought I had some other tea. Apparently, uh, Tariq Knockout wanted to come out and talk about how Rihanna got pregnant. Damn, they lost his mind. Uh, right. <laughs> But was she out pregnant for real though? Nah, it turned out she wasn't. Oh, okay. but it, it was, it was, it was a hot ticket for a good minute. People really thought. Yeah. Apparently, she was at some, um, some event. Um, according to Cardi B, it was like a, uh, it was it was like a classy event, but it was doing it was a fundraising. Yeah. Um, and she did she she posed or she did something and she had a little stomach. Yeah. Granted, let y'all know I like thick Rihanna. Yeah, me too. No, this to my baby. My baby, my baby is my baby. I'm just saying, I rather thick Rihanna than mm-hmm. model Rihanna. So she got a little thick, but she got a little pud. So people are like, is she pregnant? And uh, yeah. no, man. Yeah, you know. But see, uh, I remember I was reading something. Um, I was reading something. I think it was either, you know, one of the double XL magazines or something like that. Yeah. And um, you know, she was. Talking about how uh, she had like kind of picked up on drinking, you know what I'm saying? Like once she figured that uh, dudes liked it, the weight she was putting on, right? You know what I'm saying? But her, her people's like her crew was like, you know, we might want well, to tone down. down yeah. You know what I'm saying? We we sitting there watching you get big. You know what I'm saying? But you well, know, I'm people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with it. We from the south. All right. I'm, I'm with it. All right. Oh, uh, let me see what else we got. Doom, doom, doom. Got that, got that. We got. Oh, yeah, let me know. Bro, all right. So I just randomly on the internet, just just trying to get stuff together for the show, trying to get prepared. And um, I had a question. I was like, I was trying to figure out, like, okay, what would be, who, who would run 2019? Yeah. Now, that, that, that part of the discussion, even though. My thinking right now would be Meg Stallion. I think she kind of ran 2019 for the most part. Yeah. Uh, so I went and I Googled to try to see who had the most, uh, who had the highest sales for 2019, right? Mm-hmm. And by doing that, I came across the Billboard charts. Of course, y'all already know, I'm like, fuck Billboard. But you know, I was like, it came across, I'm like, all right, let's see, maybe they got a tally of who has yeah. the most records. Bro, so I found out who had a number one record this week. And it wasn't coming. He just dropped the album. No. It was some kid named Whit Loudry. Bro, who the fuck is Whit Loudry? Oh, yeah. God. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? So... I did quick research, like I looked at a couple of his videos. He had one video where he ended up looking like, uh, not looking like, 
First, he looked he a white boy. Right. Like to the truest sense. Like if you imagine what a white boy looked like, not even like a hip hop white boy. Yeah. Like a white boy just one cross Florida State campus. Yeah. That's what he looked like. Yeah. I mean, his name is Whit Loudry. He looks like a Whit Loudry. Right. Not only that, like I came across a video. Apparently, he's been making music since 2014. Mm-hmm. The first video, he sounded exactly like Eminem. Yeah. Which is expected. It's a white rapper. Mm-hmm. Typically, it's not Eminem. All right. But then he had a video for his album that just dropped, and he sounded more like uh, Jordan Lucas. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what that is about, but he has the number one hip hop album in the country right now. That's crazy. With Loudry. I gotta check him out. That's crazy. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, um, it's just crazy because like second time this ha- this, is, this has happened. First you had N. Elf, who's mm-hmm. another. Eminem clone that had the number one album, mm-hmm. and then now you got Wit Loudry. So um, you got Russ, you got Logic. Mm-hmm. So I think the the white boy takeover in hip hop started. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got sleep at the post. Mm-hmm. I think it's happening. But at the same time, man, I think you know what I'm saying. They can't really run away from sound like M. You know what I'm saying. When it come down to a white boy being lyrical, right? You get what I'm saying. It's like if they want to take it to that bar, you know what I'm saying, that he took it up to, you know what I'm saying, they got to kind of get up in his little lane or, yeah. or ride his And the thing lane. about it, I'm not saying he sound like M because he's white. Like, lyrically, his cadence was like Eminem. Yeah. Like, it wasn't like, oh, he, because I don't think uh, Lil Dicky don't sound like Eminem. Mm-hmm. So it's not like, oh, he white, he sounds like Eminem. That's true. You got a yeah. point. Yeah, you got a point. Yeah, he just sits. On that first video I saw was – Straight Eminem, but when I saw his, the newest video, it wasn't much M, but it sounded more like Jonah Lucas. Mm-hmm. Um, speaking of white rappers and speaking of Eminem, I'm gonna get into this and we're gonna keep it moving. Uh, I want to speak on the Lord Jamar uh issue, of course. People think Eminem about drop a new album, yeah. and there was speculation that he made this Lord Jamar in the album. I hope not. I hope he just made, I hope we get with Knife Wonder and. Mr. Porter, he's make a real hip hop album with Royce Five mm-hmm. Nine, and then shut the fuck up about all the dumb other dumb shit. Right. But it isn't what Lord Jamar is in the news for this week. Uh, apparently, he went on a podcast and he basically said that he didn't think female rappers were hip hop. For real. Oh, if anytime <laughs> you're going to say that female rappers aren't hip hop. 2019 isn't the time. Yeah. Because it's pretty much been almost pretty much female yeah. rappers for the most part. With Lizzo, Cardi B, Mad the Stallion, City Girls. Like, the lady's been, like, running it. Which lady? Like Cash Doll. Cash Doll, thank you. Mm-hmm. All the little dolls, Asian doll, even the little uh, uh, what up, sweetie, bad, bad baby, bad Barbie, whatever. All right, I don't see her. Just... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I can't even call her holler name. She a little girl. Nah, right. she, nah, I can't. Mm-mm, nah, but um, we have female first for female MCs just been killed. Rhapsody yeah. probably got the rap album of the yeah. year. Like Rhapsody Cold, bro. So. I don't know what the world Lord Jam- well, I get where Lord Jamar is coming from. I just think it's a really stupid idea. Mm-hmm. Um, I think what it is, his idea of hip hop is like street shit. Like strictly street shit. And I know for me, just personally, like I don't view hip hop that way. I think I, I view hip hop in a very mm-hmm. broad sense. Now granted, we come down to like post Malone and, and Bad baby, I think they just industry plants and try to play on the culture of hip hop. Yeah, that's why I don't really, I don't really fuck with them like that. Mm-hmm. But like from Easy E to goddamn Cool Keith, like just all the goofiness to the straight hood to the almost rock and roll. Like hip hop is a is a genre, mm-hmm. all right? It's just not street shit. You know what I'm saying? And I I think. There are certain people that think that hip hop has to be street shit. Right. It can be. It definitely represents the street. It came from the streets. Mm-hmm. It came from the struggle. But the music and the art itself isn't, you know what I'm saying, uh, strictly street. 
It don't have to be. But I think that's his thing. It's like, if you ain't talking about thug street stuff, or if you ain't talking about like 5% of, you know what I'm saying, the white man position, this mm-hmm. and that, all that. If you're the science of the, of the, of the mathematics, blah, 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 you ain't talking that. <laughs> <laughs> he figured right. that ain't hip hop. And it's like, bro, hip hop is way wider than that. Like, granted, it could be what he enjoys, and I, I get that. Yeah. But to say that, you know, anything outside of that isn't hip hop, like, nah, bro. Like, hip hop is, is so expensive. And mm-hmm. that's why it's become the the number one genre in the world because it's, it's so expensive. You, right. you can take it to the outer limits. Mm-hmm. And that's what I know I appreciate. I appreciate it too. You yeah. know what I mean? I like, I like the way things are going right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, you got somebody like uh, Thug, you know what I'm saying? That right. Are, that'll basically do anything, you know what I'm saying, that he feel like at any time, but he understand the importance of, of rapping and, and having lyrical skills. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of people be sleeping on Thug when it come down to, you know what I'm saying, his lyrical skills. You know what I'm saying? I agree. I agree. I am one of those people that sleep. But I will, I, I give people, I know people like it, so I just figure I'm missing something more, more so than I, I I admit mm-hmm. I don't let y'all feel it, but yeah. I get that people see something. I just figure I just don't see it. So right. so yeah, I agree with you on that. It's, it, mm-hmm. Then again, at the end of the day, I'm not gonna look at young thug and be like they ain't hip hop, right? Just because I don't like it mm-hmm. or I think that it's whack. Mm-hmm. It's still hip hop, right? End of the day, mm-hmm. like the the way he do stuff, the way his music is is situated. I'm not gonna say it's not hip hop because I don't like it. That's stupid, right? So. Yeah, um, you know, but, hey. got a bit of the sweet, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, got you got people like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, Jonah Lucas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Jonah Lucas Cole, you know what I'm saying? And, and can rap, right? You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, I heard a couple couple of his tracks. Um, you know, he he hanging out a little piece, you know what I'm saying? I, I think you just just gotta have a balance, right? You know what right. I'm saying? And, right. And back in the days, you know, when, when we first started out, you know what I'm saying, it was kind of like, you know, we had to be a certain type of way, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. It, was, it was real rugged, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't nobody too much having fun, you know what I'm saying, back in the days. It's like, you know, my name, my rap name, Severe, Severe Young Drac. I came up with that rap name because, uh, you know, back in the days, you had to have a, a name that kind of described how you, you know what I'm saying, right. spit or right. like whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like T Pain, you know what I'm saying? You know shit. Before he changed the Tallahassee pain, you know what I'm saying? It was torture pain. Right. You know what I'm saying? Meaning like when he spit is like torture. You get what I'm saying? Right, right. So uh yeah, that's where severe came from. You know what I'm saying? Me just wanting to uh throw myself out there, you know what I'm saying, with the sharks. Cause everybody else, you know what I'm saying, that hit a name, they be like, damn, severe, they must they must be yeah, coming hard. Coming severe. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it always kept me on my toes. Right. You know what I'm saying? And uh I like to kind of stand in the paint, you know what I'm saying? I like competitiveness, you know what I'm saying? So uh yeah, man. No, nah, I'm in the, I'm in the same boat. Like anybody that know, I started off as uh E class the Imperial, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But even the Imperial was kinda right, like, yo, right. you're taking over shit. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, uh, but I switched it because E class was like flash. I'm like, yo, that ain't even my style. So I right. switched it to Enigma because yeah. it was more like what my style was. I want you to kind of figure out shit. I mm-hmm. want you. It was a riddle piece. You had to put the pieces together. Right. You know what I mean? So that's how I did it. So boom, that's what you mm-hmm. got. So uh, speaking of Enigma Self, I'm going mm-hmm. ahead and get into a track because okay. hey, yeah. this is my show. And yeah. I can play my own shit. You right. Know I mean? That's what we, we do. So. This is my man, uh, JC, uh, featuring yours truly, Nick Mcsepptember with the word. We're gonna come back. We're gonna get to an interview with my man, Severe, the Young Track. This is the Nick Mcsepp Hour. You got time, baby? Straight up. Yes, sir. Oh, you got a this over here? Oh, yeah, you got some of these folks. Let's see what we got before my motherfucking phone go dead. But I'll never be prepared. Never, never, never. Oh, I'm just gonna go with the flow. Oh, you got the good things and both things. I see J-Hub, J-Hub. Boy, J-Hub be so excited. 
<laughs> I seen Jay all look on his head like, nigga. <laughs> like, you want to pull up over this motherfucker. Oh, you ever did an interview with him? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool, dog. That boy fell asleep. No, dog. <laughs> no. That boy worked too hard. That boy worked too hard. I got some good news and I got some bad news. It's all good. I ain't tripping about it, dog. The good news We're gonna is we're going to get it together. This is the beginning. Yeah, we got the podcast popping. Mm-hmm. So the audio is going to be straight. The bad news is the video yeah. is going to be cut short. All right, what I'm going to do? I'm going to reconnect. So we have an interview part. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm just going to have to put. We we'll have to put them together. We'll make it work. We'll make it oh, work. Shit. Uh. Oh, this is crazy, but I don't know if this is real or not. But um, um, Funk Flip got some thing that he doing like with a little cipher and winners and shit. Yeah. And I, I I you know I I come at it like this. I'd be like, man, I'm gonna send my song and my video, and I'm gonna tell them I ain't got no money, but if they wanna fuck with me, get at me. You right. know what I'm saying? Type shit, and bro. Them niggas been banging my shit down like yesterday, I day for yesterday. Um, you know what I'm saying? Dude's like, yo, it's flex. You know what I'm saying? Right. As if, you know, the, he had somebody working for him at oh. first. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. As if he had somebody working for him at first. You know what I'm saying? But I think they fucking with Big League hard. Like, they got, they try to do like little discounts and shit. Like, well, um, you know, they like, here go fifteen dollars, we go to thirty, right. go ahead and boom boom. But me not having a little credit card or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I lost my little cash app card. So I just been kinda ignorant. But I'm looking at this shit like it might be an opportunity that I might not want to pass. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you gotta take it, bro. For real, bro. You, still, you gotta take it. You know what I'm saying? This is this is a, a real tycoon in the game. You know what I'm saying? And uh Real, real hard, bro. Right, hold on, one. Yo, everybody on Facebook, man, y'all hold tight. We're gonna get this thing together. You don't need to pay thirty dollars. Here's fifteen if you miss the deal, then bet. Big lead is it? Your chance to be the next artist. They're talking about they want to make that. They was talking like they chose a winner, but they got another drawing, and they sounded like they want to choose that record for real. Like they've been really blowing me up, bro. All right, here we go. Hold up. All right, we back. This is the Nick Myself. I was your boy Nick Myself here with my man Severe the Young Drac. Yes, sir. And uh, make sure we have, okay, boom. And uh, we're gonna get to it. Uh, I want to let y'all know. Just play. Uh, I forgot the name. <laughs> I right. got my own song. All right. Oh Lord. What's got? Oh well. It's me. It's JC. Snapping. Hey, we did what we did. So, right. um, so anyway, glad to get you here, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Long time coming. Mm-hmm. Now we go back. You know what I mean? Like to the Reagan era. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, um, Reagan was moving them things. Right. <laughs> we was like right underneath. Right. Like we was right under like all of that. You know what I'm saying? Being mm-hmm. on the south side and having, let me see something. That's crazy. He, uh, 
he was doing that with Rick Ross, the real freeway Rick Ross. Right. And uh, I seen Wes Hayes supposed to have Rick Ross coming oh, to, yeah. uh, you know what I'm saying? And my manager, David, David Hill, just shout out David, you know what I'm saying, the crew. Um, he got a partner, you know what I'm saying, which is Rick Ross' nephew. And I remember we was trying to work some stuff out uh, back in the days with him before I had to do my, I did my last bid. And he was talking about, like, you know what I'm saying, breaking it off like 1.5 for, for, you know, me, his nephew, and my manager to kind of put together what we've been trying to do for years. Right. But, um, you know, like I said, I ended up going down, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know what I'm saying, unfortunately, but said, uh, I want to link up with that dude, you know what I'm saying? I, t- I, I, I think I text Wes, and I was like, bro, we need to link up when he comes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, he he's about putting – putting together shit and, and you know what I'm saying? He got the actual labels, you know what I'm saying? Backing them up. He got people backing them up just because of who he is. Like right. Universal want to give him like, like 60 million at this time when he was talking about blessing us. Right. Shh, they want to give him 60 million, you know what I'm saying? And start a label just because of who he just is. Just who he is, That's right. It's crazy. Yeah, he definitely, I know he was on Drink Champs, you know what I'm saying? Just like a couple weeks ago or whatever. So mm-hmm. yeah, his name, I mean, his name been out there. His name is Notorious. That's why I, Rose named himself out there. So mm-hmm. uh yeah, no, nah, that'd be a good look, bro. Yeah, for real. So you know, um, you know you know how to get it. You know how to run it up. Right. So I want to get get into it. Um, I mean we can go forever in the day, but I wanna start at least from what well, I remember, you know what I'm saying? First mm-hmm. time you like thoroughly impressed me, you know what I'm saying? When you mm-hmm. came over to Master League, you know what I'm saying, you dropped your first joint. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Still got it tatted. We already know. Real niggas know what it is about Master League. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Oh, and thank you, baby. Yeah, it's the word. <laughs> oh, that was the name of the track. Mm-hmm. Oh, now for what I remember, and correct me if I'm wrong. You know what I mean? Well, let me let me tell the story. Remember I had the CD. Mm-hmm. I was a freshman uh, at at FAMU. Mm-hmm. I was staying on campus despite being a local. Right. Um, so this is exactly 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember I was up there, cats, you know, the cats from Chicago, New York, Cali, mm-hmm. Miami, yeah. Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, they was they, basically, if he was a local, they pretty much shit it on him, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So I was trying to tell him, like, yo, I got a homeboy, he can spit, like, he, he yelling in, like, most New York niggas, whatever, whatever. Right. And it was like, man, whatever, you, you tripping, whatever, right. whatever. Brought him the tape or whatever, played it for him, and like them niggas' minds was just like blown away. And it was like, yo, this this a local? Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, like, it's my homeboy. Like he made this like right down the street, like right. for real, for real. Oh, some shit no bigger than this, right? Literally. So I want to get the science because from what I know, from what I remember, from what I heard, you made the joint mm-hmm. in your bedroom, right there. In the spot you were staying where your pops was at. Mm-hmm. Still there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So how, what was the whole process with behind that first project? Okay. Uh, basically, when music grabbed me, you know what I'm saying? It was around the time, I think, like, 95, 96, when um, I said my biggest influence was Wu-Tang Clan. Word. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just thought I just thought the whole little Wu-Tang Clan movement um, was a breath of fresh air. Even though I was young, you know what I'm saying? Um, like when they did their thing, you know what I'm saying? They came with their own thing and it, it was fly enough to where, you know what I'm saying? Females even love Wu Tang. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But they the, like the most ruggedest street. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah, wow. Right, right. Grilled up, yeah. And, and that never happened before. You know what I'm saying? Like still to this day, you know, people still trying to, you know what I'm saying, do what they did, you know what I'm saying? But, Man, that was God. Like you know, they they were they were put here to be Wu Tang Clan. Right. You get what I'm saying. Right. So uh, like that grabbed me. You know what I'm saying. And I remember uh, me actually listening to the beats. You know what I'm saying. Like I I would listen to the beats first, and then I would have to listen to a song again to hear what they saying. Right. You know what I'm saying. So uh, I think which record that was. Um, that was only uh what built only for only, Cuba only built for Cuba, Cuba Link. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the first one, and um, 
I remember, I think it was number seven. Um, what's that? Shadow boxing? Is that shadow boxing? I don't I know. Think, I don't yeah, want to be wrong. Right. I think yeah. you're yeah. on top. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> when when them niggas dropped that uh, when them niggas dropped that uh, when they first when I first heard that it was on the first Wu Tang Clan uh album. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And they just had it as an intro, but I was like, man, that shit hard. Like they need to make a a, 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 a song, song out of right. that shit. So when only four good Cuban links came, you know what I'm saying? They actually did. And I heard how uh Inspector Deck had came on the first verse. Yeah. He was killing it. Like if anybody know, you know what I'm saying, he came straight on all the way to the end and everybody else kind of just followed him. You know what I'm saying? And I remember I was like, dog, I said, I wanna come on a track like that, you know what I'm saying, with a beat like that. So I think they I think they had an instrumental. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where we got it from. But uh, I remember back in the days, we used to go to Specs. And just, right, right, just, right. Go to sell Right, right. Right. We right. got no money. We just steal it. Whatever right. Whatever instrumental we wanted. <laughs> back when they had to take the shit. So I think that's probably how we had to get a hold to it. And um, I had not actually wrote my verse in the same bounce rhythm and, you know what I'm like saying, as, as, yeah. as Inspector Dick. Like, you know, if you if you know his verse, you heard of mine's, you know what I'm saying? You were kind of like yeah, here. It up. But the, the shit I was talking about wasn't about nothing because I hadn't talked about back back then when I was young, first yeah. of all. Yeah. And I was just starting, you know what I'm saying? But that rhythm, you know what I'm saying? Right. Right. That rhythm right. was on point. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I wanted to sound I wanted to sound like he did. Like I always admire respect that, even though Method Man was my favorite one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that was the first rhyme I wrote. You know what I'm saying? And I remember my brother, Gino, shout out to my brother Gino. Shout out to Gino, yeah. Um, he was kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you're going to do it, you know what I'm saying? You got to sit down with it and, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, make sure it's right. You know what I'm saying? But the way you want it, you know what I'm saying? So uh, that's what I was doing. I remember I sat down for like, shh. Sat down for like two hours, man, trying to come up with that, that you know, just that one verse. You know what I'm saying? But make a long story short, from then on, you know what I'm saying? I just was kind of experimenting with with the beat making process. Yeah. And what, you know what, what I'm saying? Because I heard you were using like some, like, I don't want to say Super Nintendo, but PlayStation or whatever the system was out. It's like, yeah, like some beat maker joint. You was using that. Yeah, I think it was Super Nintendo. Okay. And for this actual record you talking about, um, what's it wasn't Tekken, uh, Killer Instinct. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know when you choosing the, I think the levels or whatever, but you can go to options, and they had like all the beats, like to the levels, right? And options, <laughs> right? So, I, I went to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got that motherfucker playing. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, I have a radio here with a little tape player and a radio here. Got two tapes. You know what I'm saying? Put a tape in here, put a tape in there. You know what I'm saying? Press record on one. Press play on the options on Nintendo. You know what I'm saying? Press, uh, what well, I say, play on one and record on the other. Right. So once I got all that going, you know what I'm saying? If I decide to do like some drums, to the little music, cause you know they ain't have like no hip hop drums. It was just like how nowadays, like if you was to hear a chord, like a dark ass chord, yeah. and then you put drums to it, you know what I'm saying. But I'm actually like beating, you know what I'm saying. I found me something with, a, you know what I mean, right? Like bass or whatever. So once I got that down pat, okay. The one I got recorded, you know what I'm saying. I take that out. I switch the tapes. I put it in this radio, right? You know what I'm saying. Put the other tape in here. So. Everything I just recorded is playing in this one. Now I'm recording with this one. You get what I'm saying? Right. So basically what I'm doing, I'm stacking it. As you know, the more I do that, you know what I'm saying? I'm stacking yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, I might rap, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, while this one was recording, I'm rapping now. You get what I'm saying? So now that I got the raps and I got all that on there, 
I might come over here, put it back in the recording thing, you know what I'm saying? And take this tape, you know what I'm saying? Put it back in here and, uh, you know, add something else right. to it. Now, the only thing with this was, you know, how tape says, if you know about a tape, the more you record over that tape, the more oh, air it gets. Yeah, right. You right. get what I'm saying? Right. So by the end of the shit, the shit sounding dope as fuck, but you can barely hear it. It's real airy, but right. you like, dog, that shit is hard. Right, right. But it gave you it like a saying? dirty sound, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Was, yeah. And yeah, I gave it that Wu Tang sound. I think yeah. that's what Rizzo was doing. He was yeah. taking like the v, the VHS yeah. and just like, just playing Making like losing them in there. Yeah. Hitting on trash cans, all type of shit. But uh, yeah, that's how I kind of started. And then um, I remember I got uh, a keyboard. You know what I'm saying? For Christmas. I remember my mom, shout out my mom. She bought me a keyboard for Christmas and it was about this big, little Radio Shack keyboard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh she was kinda like, Yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? That's y'all's. That's that's for the boys. Right. But Gino and Flazel, they kinda just skipped over it. That's like you know what I'm saying? Deal. And for some reason it was kind of peculiar to me. I was like, I don't see what it was working like. So, you know, I remember um, you know, playing the little little keys or whatever and then um I remember that same day I stayed with it for about an hour, hour and a half, two hours, and I started playing uh notes with, with two fingers, like meaning like one hitting one, the other hitting the other. Right. And I figured that okay, when you press two side by side, they clash. But if you press one and skip one, you know what I'm saying, it, it becomes a chord. So at that particular time, you know what I'm saying. I was like, doom, 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 And I remember I, I, I played that little shit, and I thought I was funky with it. So I, I remember I called my people. I said, man, y'all check this out. I played that shit for them. They were like, oh, look at you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that just boosted me up. You know what I'm saying? I was like, OK. You know what I'm saying? I can get used to it. But make a long story short on that, you know what I'm saying? I never know how to play notes. You know what I'm saying? I still don't know how to play notes to this day. Even though, you know what I'm saying, uh, I know if I knew how to play notes, I would just be like the biggest monster ever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, um, I'm, at, I'm, at the I'm at the level now to where I can remake anything that I hear as long as I got the uh, the sounds right. to do it. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? I'll make sure I got my shit fully loaded, you know what I'm saying, um, to where, you know what I'm saying, okay, if I hear the violins, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I had to learn okay, what type of violin is this? You know what I'm saying? Right. What type of cello is this? What right. type of guitar is this? Because different different instruments got different sounds. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when I start learning the names of the sounds, that boosted it up too. Because I could type like in. I could, it real yeah, quick. I could, oh, I want a vintage guitar. I type in vintage guitar. I know that's the guitar that's going to have your shit sounding old and kind of like grungy, like, you know right. what I'm saying? Like a 70 sound, 60 sound. Right. When you type right. in the word vintage. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So that shit had to boost me up, you know what I mean? But um, that's when that's when it really took off, dog. You know what I'm saying? I I started playing with the with the keyboards and shit, and uh, that's when um, I my brother my brother actually was at Rickers at the time, and he was like, I got somebody that I want you to meet. You know what I'm saying? He on this music shit too. He liked the music like you do. You know what I'm saying? But he actually working with, you know what I'm saying, uh, the type of shit that you need, right. which was like gu guitar center type equipment, not no Radio Shack shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I, you know, I didn't know that, you know what I'm saying, this type of stuff existed until I actually went over Bird Shack House, Bird Nino. Yeah. Shout out to Bird Nino, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, you know, he was over Rainbow, Rainbow Acres. So my brother actually took me over there, you know what I'm saying? I walked in the room first person I seen, you know what I'm saying, sitting down at the keyboard was Payne. It was T Payne. Right. And I think Payne was like 12 or 13. It was either one of them. I want to say like 12, 13, some, some shit. But uh, I remember, um, you know, Chess was telling him like, man, shit, uh, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to get up with you later, boom, boom, boom. So I guess he had to just wrapped up what Payne was doing and he was about to, you know what I'm saying, have well, me come yeah. in. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, he went to school with me on, okay, this type of equipment is this, this is how you record, this is how you do this, do that, you know what I'm saying? To the point where, you know what I'm saying, like, I'll tell people to this day, like, shit, Bert Nino is the first one, you know what I'm saying, that showed me and T-Pain, you know what I'm saying, right. how to work 
studio equipment. Right. Yeah. How to how to make beats or whatever. I mean, regardless of what anybody say, you know what I'm saying? Like I know. Because after that, that actual uh, day, um, Payne, I guess he asked his people to, about getting him some equipment. Right. You get what I'm saying? So once they bought him some equipment, they bought him the Triton, the touchscreen. And I remember RZA was telling everybody that that was the next level. That was the next level shit. Get you a Triton touchscreen keyboard. Right. With the gray one. You know what I'm saying? So uh, Payne ended up getting one, and you know what I'm saying? When he told me about it, you know what I'm saying? I, I started coming over there to the house, and I was going to Cobb at the time, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I think we went to trying to make a beat, and I was like, well, you know what? Let me try to uh, put this idea down. I was thinking about the uh, the Beethoven. Right. And um, I actually, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, got around the planet because, you know, on the Triton, you can uh, play a chord, stop, you know what I'm saying, you kind of track it out, stack it up. So, you know, me playing by ear, you know what I'm saying, I kind of like, you know what I'm saying, got, got it across to where you knew it was Beethoven. Right. So, you know what I'm saying, it was left for me to make make the, the drums and shit, you know what I'm saying, coming about after that. You know what I'm saying? So when I got it down, I remember like, you know what I'm saying? Payne was like hearing it come together. He was like, man, you really, t you really tell me like you can make this type of shit? Like this is what this for? Right. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, man, it's my dream to have this, what you got in your room, but my peoples can't afford it. Right. Right now. You know what I'm saying? Your people just want to got it. You know what I'm saying? So now, you know what I'm saying? I'm coming over there as much as I could. It was either going to uh, Bernino House or going to Payne She out, RPC. You know Welcome. what I mean? This service is provided by freeconferencehall.com. So, uh, yeah. There is and, one um, host and this conference. Like, we just went to, you know what I'm saying, going from started. there. You know what I'm saying? He'll hit me up. He'll be like, man, I made some shit. You know what I'm saying? Check it out. Boom, 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 boom. And you know what I'm saying? We just went to getting better lyrically. We went to getting better as beat makers. You know what I'm saying? Right. Nino was making beats. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, he showed us the ropes. But, you know, we kind of branched off because... You know, I, I guess I created my mind thinking, you know what I'm saying, and the drive to want to do it. So I started, like, you know what I'm saying, making beats. I kept on doing it the way I was doing it. But, you know what I'm saying, I was, like, you know, trying to get little better pieces and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it kind of took off from there. But I had to say that because, like, you know what I'm saying, that's that's the foundation. That's where it all, all, all started. Right. You right. get what I'm saying? Nobody so basically, knows this shit. So basically, you come down to... Y'all meeting up at Bernino joint, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And then paying people, shouts out to mm -hmm. uh, just pops and his mom or whatever, mm -hmm. mom pain. They they be able to get the equipment to, and then y'all was able just to deflect from there. Mm -hmm. All right, now granted to bounce from that, because again I had Newt, you know what I'm saying, about two months ago or whatever, and he was saying how he was like low key pissed off because he got he missed the whole. Uh, robbery joint. So, yeah. <laughs> how did the robbery joint come across? All right. Well, uh, I was down in the Rio. Like I say, shit, uh, at, at my pop's crib, you know what I'm saying, doing my thing. You know, I got a call from Sheet and Payne. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, was like, uh, we got this song, you know what I'm saying, that we want to we wanna redo. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, it's an actual song. Uh, that was put out, you know what I'm saying, you know, by Kaya or whatever, you know, with the, my neck, my back. Right. And um, she would be the one, he would, like, tell everybody, like, man, I ain't no rapper. You know what I'm saying? I just like to play around with it. So whenever Payne wasn't working on his stuff, she'll take, like, his ideas, you know what I'm saying, and get Payne to make the beat, and then he'll rap over it. But he always remade songs and remade them to like his version. Right. That that's right. what he always right. did. Right. And he be wanting to put a shitload of bass in them. You know what I'm saying? And you know, ride around and, and the cutlass him and, and pain and let everybody in the world hear that right. shit. He'll burn them, he'll burn a million copies in the room and, and go to passing them bitches out. This was she. And uh, you know, shit, uh, like I say, they called me, you know what I'm saying? And uh, they was like, I got this record. And I was like, yeah, bro, you know I'm on it. Like, whatever y'all got. 
So, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I ain't got no ride. Y'all got to come get me, though. So, you know what I'm saying? Shit. The niggas came and got me. We went over there. And uh, we went to working on the record. You know what I'm saying? And uh, they was like, you know, when Kai say this, first you got to, uh, you know what I'm saying? And Payne going to say this. First you got to put your gap. You know what I'm saying? Right. They, they was breaking it down like they had already had it set out. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Man. Yeah. So when, uh, you know, pain verse came up, the, all over how they feel, and, you know, boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? On Kaya verse, you know what I'm saying? That, like, the, her verse continued, and she be like, you know, one with me, that thing alone. So they was like, that's where you going to come in at. So I came in with the, who was that in all that black? I don't know, you like that. Like, Sounded like her, but saying my own shit. Right. You know, talking about, you know what I'm saying, the, the Jack move shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's how that's was really going down at the time because niggas was really. Oh. <laughs> niggas was. That's, that's what I liked about it the whole time was that niggas was really out here doing what the fuck y'all niggas was rapping about. So I was like, man. Y'all listen, jamming to this. This some real shit, though. Oh, listen, that's a blessing. <laughs> it's a blessing for me to be here today, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We used to, man, do. We used to do, do some dirty shit, bro. Just run it, man. We ran out of motherfucking. Houses, you know what I'm saying, and licks around the neighborhood and around Tallahassee. Then we start goddamn going to Monticello and right, chairs. Right, 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 right. <laughs> right. We just ride out like for real, for real. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> that what got me about. It. I'm like, yo, y'all. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, bro. We were had to ride way out, bro, to pull some more licks. You know what I'm saying? But you know, anyway, um, while we was coming up with the song, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, we was coming up with the song, right? Soon as we got finished with the song, you know what I'm saying? Um, she the room like the wires, how they had the circuits, it was fucked up. Yeah. If you cut on too much power at that one particular time, everything in in their room was shut off. Soon as we got finished with the song, you know what I'm saying, and we was playing it back, I think like the first time, just to hear the whole thing, uh, the power went out. And we was it was we was in pitch black, couldn't see each other. Everything was just pitch black. Right. And all I heard was a nigga like, oh, you know how it be like that. Right. Oh. <laughs> like the one, oh. <laughs> and then you just hear she say, damn. Pray, please tell me you saved that shit. And Pain said, I don't know. <laughs> if you know, working with equipment. Right. If you don't you know saved. you saved it, you didn't right. save it. Right. <laughs> you feel me? And our plan was to take it to the garden and, you know, try to get, you know what I'm saying, in the moon, which was on a Saturday. You know what I'm saying? We young as fuck. We can't even get an 18 plus, much right. less a grown folks night. Right. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I remember it was kind of like 930 or 10, something like that. And uh, niggas was like, shit, once we got the power on, we was like, well, we already know how this shit go to be made. You know what I'm saying? We already, you know what I'm saying? Let's just do this shit. You know what I'm saying? So the rock robbery song had got the actual one that people playing now, man, that shit got made over in like 15 fucking 20 minutes. That's crazy. Wow. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, I, and I'm kind of realizing since then, I've been kind of realizing like whenever, you know what I'm saying, you got something that's going to be historical, like, you know what I'm saying? You got the positive and the negative always fighting against each other. You know what I'm saying? And, um, Something always will happen to the point where, you know what I'm saying, you'll either feel like, hey, man, I don't want to do that shit over, man. Fuck that. Or I'm going to do it over. You know what I'm saying? Right. And we chose to do it over. And I'm glad we did uh, 15, 20 years later. They still playing it in the club like we right. just made it yesterday. Right. I, I, right. I, I haven't heard or seen a record or artist, you know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't seen nothing that's been playing like it's brand new. For 15, 20 years, out of all the music that I've been hearing. Right. Like, you know, some people might be like, oh, that's that jam, you know, that's that old school jam, but they don't call this shit old school. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Which that which I know it's a blessing from God, you know what I'm saying? You know, as a ticket, you know what I'm saying, for us to go ahead and, and, and do what we gotta do. But uh we took it, we took it to uh we took it to Lil Boy. DJ Lil Boy was the first uh DJ to play robbery, period. We came in through the back. And we were trying to hurry up and get in there because 
they was about to close. I think we had probably about 20, 30 more minutes. Right. You know what I'm saying? So back then I had the big afro. You remember on Brady? Right. You right. know what I'm saying? I, when me and Heck used to draw draw uh, album covers and shit ourselves. Shout out to Heck. And uh, I had the big ass afro, just like, you know what I'm saying, on the little Brady. And uh, I remember standing up in a chair. You know what I'm saying? What uh, DJ Little Boy had his, had his equipment on stage. And he was like, these boys make some new shit, boom, 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 for nap heads, boom, 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 you know what I'm saying, called Robert. And I remember he played it. And, you know, everybody was kind of standing around. But soon it was like, all my thugs cock your nice like this. Soon they're going to say, Chick-a-pow. all the little motherfuckers, everybody. Just, oh. <laughs> I'm watching this shit. I'm, sitting, I'm standing in the chair watching this shit. I'm like, oh, shit. You know me, I always stay crunk, so now I'm bouncing around. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm about this big with a big ass rope, this big. You know what I'm saying? And they played it. So when it when it went off, he was like, hold up, man, we gotta play this shit again. Right. They played it again. DJ Lil Boy played it again. I was like, damn, cuz everybody coming to like, boy, that's the shit. You know what I'm saying? So we was like, fuck that, we finna go to the moon now. We finna see if we they gonna let us in the moon. Shit, they let us in the moon. I forgot, right. I forgot who let us in the moon, but uh we got somebody to play it. Like when they was about to close, you know what I'm saying? You know how they might try to like ease a little record up on you, you know what I'm saying? Why everybody exiting out of right, shit. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? But niggas went to stand and pop it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Shit. Motherfuckers was headed like they was going to the door, but when the track came on, it was like they was coming back in that motherfucker. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we was like, shit, we got a good response on that too. You know what I'm saying? We were like, all right, shit, it's time to go home. Like, whatever. But the next day, um, Shahid was getting calls about robbery being played in the moon, but this shit was coming from Orlando, Jacksonville, uh, like different people was calling him about this song that just got played a couple hours ago. Right. All out of town. Right. Saxwell was in Orlando. Like, I'm talking about motherfuckers was literally calling to the point where she had actually got chewed out, you know what I'm saying? Because Mr. Shahi had told Sheed and Payne not to take the record, not to take anything yeah, yeah. that was made outside the house without their permission. Right. Because they wanted to make sure everything was good. Right. I'm talking about got chewed out to the point where my dog was crying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. By, by the time I <laughs> by the time I pulled up that day, he was standing on the side of the house where they usually smoke their cigarettes at. Right by their door, and I seen him with tears in his eyes. He was just like kind of smoking, cause you know what I'm saying. Like, I, you know, I guess he, you know what I'm saying. He felt strong about the record, so he kind of spoke his opinion. But you know how it is when you respect, you know what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, Somebody yeah, like yeah, Mr. Shahid, you know what I'm yeah. saying. You kind of feel guilty about the shit. Right. right. So you know what I'm saying. He's standing on the side. You know what I'm saying. I just see him smoking, like he, you know what I'm saying. He got tears in his eyes. You know, I asked whatever. You know what I'm saying. But it was like shit. You know, kind of stood up. You know what I'm saying. Kind of fought for the record. But then by Almost by the end of that week, you know what I'm saying, calls was just coming from everywhere to the point where uh, Mr. Shahid kind of like took robbery and placed it in front of FLA. Right. Because when FLA was made, I wasn't with the group. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that was the single. They had just started getting on the road with FLA as the single. But, you know what I'm saying, the uh, force behind robbery kind of made them put it in front. Right. And made it the front run. You know what I'm saying? But those was the two singles, though, FLA and Robert. So uh, once once we put it in the front, you know what I'm saying, and it started, like, you know, getting the record out and getting the recognition, um, that's when I think uh, she or Rabbi, I, I know Rabbi, he was one. I, like, I really joined the group because, you know what I'm saying, uh, rap, you know what I'm saying, you know, I had to be bumping in the rap during different um, – different talent shows and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That they was having around town. And uh, you know, he he older, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, they would always choose both of us instead of just one. Right. Like that shit happened like twice. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I, I, I knew Rab. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So by Rab joining the Nappy Heads, like before I did, you know what I'm saying? He was one of the ones that kind of talked me into joining the group. And, you know what I'm saying, kind of like made me feel, you know what I'm saying, like 
like I was home, you know what I'm saying? You know, because I had mass leave. My niggas was mad. Right. My niggas was pissed. Because as you can recall, shit, we was doing shows around this right. motherfucker. Right. And we was tearing them motherfuckers right. up. National right. Guard Army, all the clubs. They even let us uh, perform at the moon one time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, uh, my niggas was like pissed. You know what I'm saying? All us tatted up and shit. You know what I'm saying? The whole fucking squad. You know, it's like 10, 12 of us and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I was telling them, like, man, look. Like, we doing our thing in town. You know what I'm saying? Shahid just got these boys situated where they doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, out of town. Shows right. out of town. You know what I'm saying? This robbery shit taking off. You know what I'm saying? I play a big part of the shit. You know what I'm saying? We all cool. You know what I'm saying? She cool. I'm cool with these niggas. You know what I'm saying? So I think it'll be a good move for me to make, you know what I'm saying, to get on the road with this nappy head and this robbery and this, you know? Right. So Spread that's what I did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Niggas was hot for a minute. My nigga was hot for a minute. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I remember skin. Skin was hot. <laughs> shit. Heck was hot. I kind of like, like I had to tell Heck, you know what I'm saying? Because we co CEOs, Masley. I was like, man, I want you to come over here, go to these meetings with no this nappy head shit, just so you can check out what's going on. Like it's some real shit going on. Right. That's gonna benefit everybody in the long run. Right. You know what I'm saying? So he he kind of went to like a couple of them. You know what I'm saying? But make a long story short, um, that's how the robbery that's how the robbery went to pop, popping off. And our first show, my first show with them was in Pensacola. And we was opening up for Peter Pablo. He had just dropped a little North Carolina shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So um, when he went to performing, you know, niggas was fucking with him. You know, we hadn't opened up for him. We did our thing. We, we blew the spot. He went to performing. And niggas was fucking with him. But, you know what I'm saying? He ain't have no other songs. He had that, that next single uh, that Timberland had produced, too. He was in the, uh, the little circus ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And... When he tried to perform it, he was like, yeah, man, this is my new single. He was trying to explain, like, yeah, man, this is my new single, but what, 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 boom. And niggas weren't feeling it. But by me, you know what I'm saying, like, no, no, I like, I know the shit. I watch rap shit every fucking day. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I'm the only one. I'm like, yeah, boy, that shit hard. You know, Timberland made the beat. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, that shit hard. I'm looking around like, damn, I'm the only one bobbing to this shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I didn't cut that shit short. Quick. Went back to North Carolina. And I remember he had a little part where he'd be like, who am I? Who am I? He'll say that like three times before right. he continue. So just, you know what I'm saying? Just imagine like, you know what I'm saying? This motherfucker, he ain't got no other songs. And he, in his mind, he trying to compete with what we just did. Right, right. Man, I swear to uh, this nigga must perform North Carolina four or five times. Just trying to get that energy. Right. Cause y'all had already like tore it down, so you like, yo, I gotta, right. I gotta make sure motherfuckers remember what Bro, the hell I'm doing. To the point where we was like, man, we going backstage. We can get our thing. Shit, if I see him perform this motherfucker one more time, right, it's gonna be coming out, coming out, making right. y'all know. <laughs> you feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? We sitting back. You know what I'm saying? We just we hear some you know, some cheering like, ah, ah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Then Peter come back in the little room or whatever and he got his bodyguards kind of like around him and shit you know what i'm saying about two three dudes about, i said about three dudes they kind of surround him and he, they kind of walk walk past us and go to the deep far back where he where he was yeah and next thing you know i hear some shit like pity 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 you know what i'm saying and i just see something you know what i'm saying kind of like go past us they right. kind of like chasing him you know what i'm saying he go back out there and now we hear a bigger roar <sighs> You know what I'm saying? They bring him back in now. They got, I guess, his trench coat. No, no, not trench coat. It was kind of like a fur coat. They covered him up. This motherfucker got on two socks. <laughs> <laughs> what? Shout out to Peter Pablo. Hey, hey. Got, he covered it up. They walking like he motherfucking James Brown. They like he covered him up. Like he throwed that bitch. It was right. really, but he was doing it from the dressing room to the state. Yeah. Man, this motherfucker turned out, dog, this motherfucker had to strip naked and ran out that bitch. <laughs> he said he did that just to get a reaction right. like ours. Wow. Can you believe wow. that shit? 
Wow. See, a, a motherfucker want to hear from the horse's mouth, dog. See, this is the type of shit, man, what my dog got right here, dog. This is the type of shit that'll blow up, you know what I'm saying, if we keep this shit up. Because listening to us, dog, I'll give it to you from the horse's mouth, man. There's been a lot of talk about how this shit started, this, that, and the third. Yeah. Man, you come ask a motherfucker like me, she, or pain, man, we're going to give it to you just like it is. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Man, that motherfucker say, y'all come back here. Uh, that that might be my folks right yeah, now. Yeah. Well, we're gonna go ahead, man. We're gonna get to uh, a couple of your tracks. We're gonna okay. see what you're doing in the future. So y'all just hold tight. This is the Enigma Sub Hour. You got time, baby. Yes, sir. I feel it, bro. I feel it. I feel it, dog. Like niggas is throwing the fuck in, bro. Niggas is throwing in, bro. What's up, man? set up a score dog you know what i'm saying it's like watching a doc you know what i'm saying watching a documentary you know what i'm saying the motherfuckers explain you know what i'm saying the same shit will be explained oh shoot oh yeah yeah j house said she said y'all drink that hen mm-hmm mm-hmm yeah hell yeah he <laughs> said uh, this nigga had the hugest bottle of hennessy i ever seen bro it was it, this motherfucker was Man, this shit had kind of like that bitch probably solid across the ground, and if it was some, it was the biggest bottle of Hennessy I ever seen. Right. And then he said, "Hey, hey, man, all y'all motherfuckers come back here." He sat us down, dog, and he was like, "Man, let me tell you, man, I did this, I did that, I did this. I was trying to get that because y'all just burnt the stage down. You know what I'm saying?" And uh, it was like, "Man, I see y'all deep too, and y'all from Florida." He was like, where y'all from? We were like, Tallahassee, Florida. We were like, oh, so y'all from the top. Like, he was like, man, this is just like, I'm from Carolina. And he was like, man, do y'all know how how much we have been overlooked? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's almost like he had some type of history about the shit. Right. He was like, man, y'all know how much we've been overlooked? He was like, man, man, niggas is finna try to break y'all up. They finna be trying to sign y'all. You know what I'm saying? On your own time, pull you to the side, pull you to the right, side. Right. He said, man, what y'all got, man, y'all motherfuckers better not break up. Do not break up for no circumstances whatsoever. Like, he really stressed that shit. Right. So, he was like, all right, bet. I'm tell you the word for it. He was like, man, y'all come out here with me and take some pictures, man, and uh, hang out, man. We got peace. I'm Mark Grab, this little bitch, or whatever. So, we went back out to the club part. You know what I'm saying? That's, and that's what we did. And I remember shit, man. You know, man, we basically little nigga fresh off the street. We running around, you know what I'm saying? We ain't respecting these niggas as, right. as, as being signed artists and shit. Right. We ain't giving them that. <laughs> she, 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 man, fuck these man. You know what I mean? <laughs> Bro, man, I remember, man, I'm talking about, I, I'm, I'm running around like a motherfucking VIP. I fuck around and uh, I ain't know what my drink was. Man, I seen a drink. That motherfucker looked like it was fresh. I just grabbed that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was a drink. Next thing you know, you know what I'm saying? Peter like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 Oh, shit. 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 Oh, Oh, shit. Somebody got my drink. You're like, ah, there you go, guy. Right. You got, you got food. <laughs> you feel me? I am out of here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that was me, dog. So, shit, man, that night was fun, bro. And then, you know what I'm saying? We had it, uh, did the second show in uh, Pens no, Jacksonville. And, you know, we burnt that bitch down, too. And, shit, there wasn't no more shows after that. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, we all get put on 10 city tours. You know what I'm saying with these artists. You right. know what I'm saying, and we before we were supposed to open up ten cities. You know what I'm saying, and uh, with every artist that we toured with, it never got past the second. 
never got past the second show. After the second show, they they cut us off because you know what I'm saying they figured that you know what I'm saying we we would embarrass them in front of the people that they need to make money from, which is the promoters, the club promoters. Right. Right. So nigga, they we, they gonna embarrass your ass. We gonna embarrass your ass ten times. Right. You know we got ten shows. You know what I'm saying? Every time we're gonna come every, out. Every and every time. That shit. You get what I'm saying? Tip, you name them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Tip. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, first show with him was in Orlando. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we burnt that shit down. You know what I'm saying? On the stage of the outside show. You know what I'm saying? And then the second show was the Team Luau up here in Tallahassee. Right. You know what I'm saying? And uh, shit, once once we did that show with Tip up at the fairground, shit, uh, I, I remember, you know what I'm saying, um, when Robert came on, I had to climb up on one of them tall ass speakers, you know what I'm saying? And one of the little uh, security guards kind of like holding that motherfucker so that bitch got <laughs> stirred it. Right. Because you see, he couldn't really control it. He just had to help us out. You know what I'm saying? So when the Who Is That and All That Black part came on, I think either somebody cut the music off or they something happened. But the music was off. And we was thinking the music was going to come back on. But the music never came back on. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. the crowd literally sung the whole song from that part all the way to the end with no music. The music never came back on. That's crazy. And, and, and the crowd was just saying it to the point where, nigga, I, I had the mic up in the air. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm the shit. Like, right. <laughs> yeah, you motherfucking saying this shit. But, man, to be honest, that was, the, that was the, the very first time that I had everybody's attention. In the city of Tallahassee. Yeah. Because everybody was in there. Like, everybody talked about it to this day. You know what I'm saying? Like, what they had on and shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. I was like, I was there. I was over there. And I remember uh, a lot of people saw my man. It was so fucking hot in there. The walls were sweating. That's what, you know, a lot of people, yeah. you know, still to yeah. this day, they tell me. It was like, dog, it was fucking hot as fuck in there. <laughs> You're right. You know right. <laughs> right. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I remember shit. After the show was over. You know what I'm saying? We went backstage and uh I just remember um motherfucker tapping me on the shoulder, like hey shoulder. You know what I'm saying? I was signing a little girl autograph, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, we just had went, got got back to town from touring. Now we signing autographs in the city. So right. we was like, Oh, this shit is getting for You're real. Right, right. I'm right. signing a little girl autograph, my shirt off and everything. You know what I'm saying? He tapped me on the back, like, hey shouted, you know what I'm saying? The second time I turned around. And he was like, yo, he was like, I like what you're doing out here. You know what I'm saying? Um, if it's anything I could do to help you out, you let me know right now. Right. Then, then was his actual words. But I remember the uh, the speech that Petey hadn't told us about niggas was going to try to be signing us. us yep. You know what I'm saying? And splitting us up, whatever. So me, I was like, um, Shit, man. Uh, hell yeah, we link up, do some collabs. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, I get my manager. You know what I'm saying. You get your manager, which was Jason Jeter. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know Jason was there. Um, and we put them together, and make a collab, and you know exchange phone numbers, or whatever. He was like, all right, that's a bet. We walked on over to Jace. I brought Shahid on over. You know what I'm saying. They did they thing, but. Like Shahi said on the T Pain doc, like he didn't know who these people was. Right. You know what I'm saying? He just, just trying like, to help his son. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Help his son just, you know, do music, help the group, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. So um he kind of slept on who these people was. He didn't know that these people were like, as big yeah, as they were. Yeah. He didn't yeah. know at all. I'm talking about from Tank, uh nigga, you name them. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about you name them, bro. Right. Pastor Troy, every fucking body that was out straight, every fucking body. And, uh... Alright, hold tight. We're about to get back into it. We were playing the song. Oh, right. okay. Well, shit, yeah. I'm gonna run, run that. Yeah. I'm gonna run that Yo, back. It's, 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 on the, it's on the live joint, so it, it, it worked. Okay. Alright. We back at it. This is the Nick Myself Out. <clears throat> oh, shoot. Alright. Right, this is Nick Myself Out. That was Vic Lee's and Love Suicide featuring T-Pain. Now yes, I know you got a new joint out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, OG, OG freshman. freshman. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? How can the people get to your new shit so you can um, you know what I'm saying, download it and spread the word about it? 
Okay, actually, um, you know what I'm saying, by me owning my own company, you know what I'm saying, own production company, you know what I mean, uh, in crowd, you know what I'm saying, it's capital N dash capital crowd, you know what I'm saying, and uh, I'm organic with the grind, you know what I'm saying, kind of like Nip with the grind, Nip to hustle, RP Nip, you know what I'm saying, that was my biggest inspiration, still is, you know, as of today in hip hop, just because of how he did it, right? No radio. No, none of that. People just start playing Nip shit on the radio once he passed. You know what I'm saying? But Nip had blowed up and was going to win a Grammy with no radio play. Right. Like just straight him selling his stuff underground. Right. You know what I'm saying? Which gave me, you know what I'm saying? Gave me hope. Like, okay, if it's gas, they're going to come look for you. You get what I'm saying? Right. So, um, if you want to get the record, you know what I'm saying? You want to get the mixtape, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you got to get at me, you know what I'm saying? In my DM, you know what I'm saying? Or my messenger. You know what I'm saying, which is Instagram or Facebook. You get what I'm saying? And um, basically what I'll do is I got it set up, you know what I'm saying, and packaged to where I can just send it straight to your email. You know what I'm saying? You bust it down, you got it. You right. know what I'm saying? It's 15 songs. You know what I'm saying? I just been charging like ten dollars a pop. Right. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's reasonable. Right. You know what I'm saying? And uh shit. It go it's digital. It's all digital, you know what I'm saying? I mean, now as far as the physical copies, you know what I'm saying? I I'm 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 gonna get the physical copies, but it got to be like a distribution. Right. I don't wanna play with no you know what Chocolate I'm saying? Stuff and CDs right. and especially honestly, I mean I went hit you up, you know what I'm saying, about doing it or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I got my copies or whatever and it was dope. So it's it's worth it. Mm -hmm. It's definitely worth it. Appreciate so, it though. Yeah. Uh what on IG, how can they find you on IG? Okay, my IG is one severe the young Drek. That's the number one, and then the word severe S E V E R E, and I spell the as D A, the, and young Y O U N G, and Drek D R A C K. But it's all one word. You know, once you type the one and the severe in, you know what I'm saying. You both both pages gonna pop up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, and uh, just get at me in my DM. You know what I'm saying, uh. Let me know that you're interested in copying the record. You know what I'm saying? And uh, basically what I'll do is I'll, you know, of course, send you, you know what I'm saying, um, the info about, you know what I'm saying, the organic grind with the cash app, you know, and um, basically I'll, I'll ask you for your email. Send it to your email. You know what I'm saying? You send me the app. You know what I'm saying? And just like that, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, just to top it off, I'll probably be like, okay, um, make sure you give me your opinion, you know what I'm saying, on, on, on the well, record. Like, post your opinion, you know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, if you, if you don't even like it, you know what I'm saying? Post that. I, right. I be trying to saying? tell people, like, look, if this if it's trash, let me know it's trash right. so I can improve on it. Like, right. just don't be like, it's all right. Like, I need to know right. what's actually, good. Actually, I would I would want, you know what I'm saying? I know this will sound kind of crazy. I would want for some people to be like, oh, boy, that's trash. Because it seemed like that blows you up more than... You get right, what I'm saying? Right. Like the negative talk. Yeah, they yeah. get interested. Like, yeah. let me see how trash it is. Oh, I want to see what he's going <laughs> to fire back to him. <laughs> that dude that says trash. Oh, I want to see what Severe going to do. Right, right. Type shit. So, but, I mean, you know what I mean? That's just me and my little crazy too. But, man, uh, the whole album fire, you know what I'm saying, from beginning to end. I'm a producer, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't use no samples. You know, mm -hmm. I started off sampling. You get what I'm saying? I don't use no samples because, you know, I figured, you know, the people that, you know what I'm saying, that make original music way back in the days that we sample today, they had to make it originally themselves. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? And they got what they got searching the world for, for what they was. You right. get what I'm saying? Right. So I figured if I, you know what I'm saying, make my own music, but kind of make it like sound like, might make it sound kind of like a old or whatever, like like the sample. Yeah, it got a, like it's got a vintage, but it's right, not. It just got right. the sound, the texture of it. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's really my style. You know what I'm saying? I come with some new school shit, new school sound or whatever. But when you hear my shit, it's going to really sound like everything on that bitch is sampled. You know what I'm saying? Right. But ain't nothing sampled. You know what I'm saying? I have, I've had arguments, people arguing down like, boy, that's a sample. That's a sample. You finna tell me? Right. You know what <laughs> I'm saying? like, nah. But... I really put this together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just to kind of give you a taste of what you, you know what I'm saying, jumping into when you get the project. You know what I mean? And uh, I, I, I put a balance together. 
You know what I'm saying? Like I say, I like where the area is now. Like I'm really proud that I'm kind of bursting out like like totally around this time. You know what I'm saying? Because like I say, it's so wide open. You right. know what I'm saying? To new ideas, just new, new shit. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, real hip hop then came back. Right. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, it go it go like this. Say if this the bar, it go like this. You know what I'm saying? The new shit is popping. But know what I'm saying? The new shit is gonna kind of die out. The old shit is kind of gonna come in. So right at that perfect time is right where we at now. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And you got to kind of like have that balance in order to survive out here. Right. So if a motherfucker ain't got it, they ain't, they gonna drown. Yeah. So that leaves a person like me who just wide open with- lane, go get them. Yeah. And I'm ready to go get them, you know what I'm saying? And, and I always had the energy to where I wanted to create new shit to the point where if you knew back in the days, man, my shit was hard, but niggas was just like, bro, you got your own sound. Like, this shit is different, but it's hard. Yeah, that shit was like dumb hard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. niggas will tell you, like, bro, you need to go back to that shit. <laughs> like, my beats is trust me. Low, low I'm, key, I'm, I'm like, yeah. I'm killing, I'm killing, <laughs> killing shit right now. I'm talking about I'm professionally killing shit right now. Yeah. But niggas be like, bro, you need to go back to that shit. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, I be like, Jigga, like, you want my old shit? You gotta go back to my old shit. Right, right. But yo, we're gonna, we gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up. But before we get out of here, I think it's, um, Obligatory. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what I'm saying? Say a piece about she being that. You know what I'm saying? He was the heart, the glue of the, mm-hmm. of the group. So if there was anything you want people to know about your memory of, of she, you know what I mean? Man, this is this is what I want everybody to know, man, about she, Constantine, RP, she, man, love you. Because this is the person that wanted for everybody, not just in nappy heads, but anybody that does music, period, from Tallahassee, he wanted you to blow, yeah. just like his brother did. You know what I'm saying? Uh, how this, you know, the relationship, we know that's another story, but I know them two brothers, they love each other to death still to this day. Shout out to Payne, you know what I'm saying? Love you, bro. And, uh, I just want everybody to know that, man, that's that that's like a dream of his, you know what I'm saying, that we have to kind of like, we have to kind of like come together and and fulfill, like finish it out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because if we all thought like he did, we'll be popping right now. Yeah. All petty shit will be to the side, you know what I'm saying? Because this is what he wanted more than anything in the in the world. Just say everybody you know what I'm saying? He wanted anybody from 850, bro, to make it. So even through all the sickness, man, you know what I'm saying, that he was going through, like he used to deal with me on the phone, like, cuz we finna finish what we started, bro. He was like, bro, we he was like, bro, I can't I can't do this the way we doing it. Like, I want to get back to where we was on that road touring. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because that was the, the biggest spark ever. Right. You get right. what I'm saying? So he was always wanting it, wanting us to get back there. You know what I'm saying? He was like, Payne, he on it. He gone. You know what I'm saying? But uh, uh, if the rest of the group don't want to do it with us, we gone. So, you know, by then, you know what I'm saying? Everybody kind of found their way, had families or whatever. You know how that go. And, you know, me and she was like up in the A. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, man, nigga, we finna do it. You know what I'm saying? She was like, I'm finna get my dialysis treatment. Uh, to where you know what I'm saying it's kind of like mobile. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, have a, have a spot here. Uh, wherever we going, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna have a spot to where I can get treated at. Yeah. This, that, and the third. Like he was really like, you know what I'm saying. Even to the point where when he passed, he was, that's what he was doing. He was trying to set it up to where he can travel. And I'm talking about he was working on he was working on getting his license. Yeah. He's just about just about to get his license. Like you know, yeah, that that dude had so many DUI, not DUIs, but uh, driving. You know, suspended license. Yeah. you know what I mean? You, everybody knows she used to put the motherfuckers on, on high speed chases in that big ass green van. I'm talking about damn near every day. Though. Right. You know what I'm saying? To the point where, you know, they might ride behind them and then they might just, you know, Right. You know, she you used to is. run their ass in a van. <laughs> run their ass. You in the van with them, you riding too. Right. You want to dive out, you're going to be rolling right. down the hill because that bitch going to full speed. Right. You know what I'm saying? 
But uh, yeah, man, make a long story short, dog. She, you know what I'm saying, is the reason why, you know what I'm saying, uh, nappy heads exist to this day. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody can say, you know, they rapping, you know what I mean? And they've been started and all that, you know what I'm saying? But man, the actual form of the nappy heads, everything that went down, everything that took place, all the history is because of she, you know what I'm saying? And I would say this, you know what I'm saying? If God is my witness, I'm pretty sure, you know what I'm saying? If, if people like really just put their pride aside, like, yeah, man, it really was, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because first of all, she just felt like we was the shit. Everybody else, he don't give a fuck if you was tipped. He didn't give a fuck, man. Juvenile, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like, she used to actually try to slick shit on these motherfuckers <laughs> and crack jokes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, 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 yo. Hell, throw up. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? He that he made us feel like, hey, no, if it ain't us, it ain't nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Literally. You know what I'm saying? He kind of kept it together. You know what I'm saying? And if we came saw He'll make sure, like, oh, you gotta harden that shit up. No, I'm here. Right. We won't be going out of town, but these niggas gonna look at us right. like we square. Right. Man, she was the heart, bro. You know what I'm saying? And people didn't really want to give him the props because she would always say, I'm not a rapper. I'm not a rapper. I'm not a rapper. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? But when that road life hit, you know what I'm saying? And then the popularity, the fame. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yes. Right. Yes. I am a rapper. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? <laughs> Y'all live. Yeah, you feel me? I am a rapper. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I want people to know, man. You know what I'm saying? Like if they, I, I heard I heard my little my little partner, little Steve, little Funk, shout out to Funk, the whole parliament Funkadelic. Um he said what what they wanted to do shall be done. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But yeah. if you think about it that way, you'll automatically know that you have to carry the torch to make sure it's, it it's done. done. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. It's like a faith without works is dead type Word. of thing. Word. You know what I'm saying? And I really, really stand on that. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like, you know, shit, it's 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 it's, it's money, success, uh just uh general a generational life changing experience out there waiting for us. Because of how good we are, you get what I'm saying? Right. How 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 you know what I'm saying? Like uh how can I put it? Like it's still out there waiting for us because we started something that people they, they used to put us in the magazine as being the top, like the biggest group since the Jackson Five. This billboard. Yeah. Billboard saying this. They like and they got our picture, my little ass sitting sitting in the front. <laughs> little leather bag, little jacket. I got a little hat on. Them niggas used to pick on me on the road. They were talking about, look at Chris. They talking about uh, sitting that dress looking like a little black and mild. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> looking like a little black and mild. Because I used to wear the little right. hat. Little, yeah, I stole that shit off my daddy. I still buy yo, a little hat. My daddy had some shit. Let me get this little bucket hat. <laughs> you know what I'm mean? I'll show you how to rock it. But, uh, yeah, though, oh, yeah, man. man. But yo, yeah. we'll go ahead because we'll be here forever in the day. Mm -hmm. Not fast, sorry, the next day. Right. So I uh, appreciate you following through, appreciate bro. You, dog. We're going to have to re up because, uh, yeah, this is, yeah, we, this is way more stuff we can get into. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead to this, this last track and then um, we're going to get up out of here. Uh, Y'all stay tuned next week. Uh, got my man Tarif Knockout. He'll be in the building. And then I'm taking a break. Cause the week after that is my birthday. Okay. And um, be the big three nine, and I ain't finna be messing with y'all. So. Right. I just but, had mine on the second. Word. September yeah. babies in the yeah, building. Yeah. September man. babies. Yeah. Told y'all this month. This month is yeah, that month, man. boy. We, 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 we about making it. We about making it happen, man. We perfectionists, you know what I'm saying? Word. And our drive is, is 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 to to cater. You know what I'm saying? To make sure everybody around us is satisfied. If you read the horoscope, you'll notice that that pops up in every Virgo horoscope. Yeah. It's those two things. You know what I'm saying? And you so, don't team Libra. I still got Virgo tendency, so mm -hmm. that's still... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, you ain't... You it ain't like too that. far. It's yeah. right. It's still mixed in yeah. there. So we're going to get into it. This is my man, Sean Alizar with Right Away, and I'll see y'all next week. This is the Enigma Self Hour. You got time, baby. Right. Yes, sir.
Damn, I needed that, boy. I needed that for my soul, bro. You don't even understand, <laughs> cuz. Yo, man, I appreciate you, man, bro. I appreciate you. Ah, I appreciate you, All right, let me, You know what I'm saying? Let me see let if let I can. Let me tell you, dog. Let me tell you something. The same shit we doing is the same shit that everybody else did. Right. You know, I, I start telling people, like, man, look, you got people like Jay-Z. You got people, like, at the top of the pinnacle, right? And um, it's it's it's... We don't think about if God actually came and said, all right, it's your turn to run the game. Right. What what bro, that's that's some real pressure. But God ain't God don't talk in a 